I, I don't know if you've ever wondered or anyone watching has ever wondered why these little PBMs are so freaking long, even though they're so small. Um, and it's because they have these tubes in them, these little uh, Sony um, A20 and M20 tubes. These are incredibly long because they are a 70 degree deflection angle. And that's referring to the angle from the bell to the neck. It's a really wide open angle. Um, and the lower the deflection angle is, the better your geometry and your picture quality is going to be because the electron beams are having to do less bending to hit the sense. screen in the right place. Okay. Your normal professional tube is going to be a 90 degree deflection as long as it's below like 20 inches. Uh, the larger tubes, I I just don't see those really for uh, less than like 110 degree deflection, which is why your corner geometry starts to get kind of bad okay, is because they're, go, they're making yeah, the tube shallower. Really far out. Mm -hmm. so, and that's why yeah. flat screen tubes have horrific geometry <laughs> is because they are very shallow. And then the screen, the front of the screen the is flat. flat. And that physics does not work that way. <laughs> the beams don't want to be shot at an angle onto a flat surface. The curved surface helps to preserve the geometry. So when you buy a flat screen tube, you're buying inferior physics. <laughs> That's, I try, I try, a lot of people will send me pictures of their flat screens and they're like, look at this how do i get this better and i'm like well actually that's as good as it's gonna get for that flat screen and they're like no and i'm like uh i'm telling you the truth like you said the physics aren't there it's like you gotta understand this is the end of an era too where they're like we just finally got this one style of crt almost perfected now we're gonna try flat screens Oh, that didn't really work now we're in plasma load you know lcd yeah. land so it wasn't like it was something that had – maybe they would have figured out a better way to do it if they'd have done it for 50 years like they did the tubes before that. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah, not it something just wasn't, that was done. No. It was – I like I, I don't have any proof of this, but I've always felt like it was kind of like a last-ditch effort to, to sell people a new TV before the technology changed. It was like the hot new thing, like, oh, you got to have a flat screen now. It looks so modern. You know, throw out your old bubble curve TV and buy a flat screen. And then a few years later, oh, now we have LCDs, you know. So I, not a lot of engineering went into the flat screens before that, you know, before they were out. Like, obviously enough went into them, but not nearly as, like you were saying, not nearly enough compared to the older design. No, not not nearly as much as like the 90s where the trend, like there was no vision of a f different format that was going to come in and replace a tube mm. at that point they're like this is still the most uh technologically advanced and capable display technology on the planet right now and in within the you know eye shot of that whereas when you get into that early 2000s when they made those other ones i'm sure that there was already developmental phases of these lcd panels yeah and things yeah, like definitely. that they were already aware of this so like yeah. you said, there's not there. All the good engineers are over there trying to make the next big thing, not the last great yeah. hoorah for a CRT. A, a lot of the, the engineering I've noticed went into the PC monitors because those got flat earlier because it was way more desirable That's to have. True. And it, you needed perfect geometry for a PC monitor because no one's going to buy a monitor where their start bar is you know, bending up at the sides or whatever. It needs to be perfect. <laughs> and so that's, those are like fantastic examples of what a flat screen monitor should be. And consumer tubes, there's just no reason to dump enough money into those to get them to, to look right. Like this, this JVC I have over here is my, my prized possession. It's one of the, sorry about the camera work here. Um, it's the JVC DTV. It's the multi-format JVC. And those Use a flat screen Sony Trinitron clone uh, made by Mitsubishi uh, called the Dimantron. Oh, yeah. And those tubes were used in the highest of high end monitors uh, at the time, like right. NEC's F series uh, and Sony's uh, GDM, like their upper level GDM stuff had equivalent tubes to that. And they're like a thousand TVL and they just have fantastic geometry and focus. Uh, and part of the reason for that is most PC monitors have uh, dual focus controls, which means 
so I'll explain like normally all CRTs have a focus control and it's kind of like adjusting focus on, on like a lens or your, or your camera where there's like a perfect spot where you get very sharp focus in the middle, but you might be sacrificing some focus on the outer edges. So what most people recommend you do is you kind of adjust it just a little bit down so that you get uniform focus, even though it might not be the sharpest possible focus, you get uniform focus. Um, and the dual focus flybacks added a second focus control exclusively for the corners. So you didn't have to compromise anymore. You could dial in razor sharp focus on the center and on the edges. Um, and, and this one has that. Uh, it's phenomenal monitor. If, if the, B, the BVMs can ever get one. will have those too. Um, yeah. A lot of times. Yeah. They'll have the dual focus on their flybacks. And um, yeah, that that's a good point. The one that I have is a flat screen tube on the Sony and it's, you know, that style of, uh, whatever that you're talking about, the C the GDM and it has phenomenal geometry. And of course it's also running at the higher kilohertz, you know, mm -hmm. signal. So it's a little bit different and it's not going to be, uh, you know, it's not, you're not just sending in 240 P and getting it on the screen on that monitor, yeah. but there's a boatloads more hardware inside that, shell of that crt than there is in any of the consumer flat screen uh television sets that you'll find not a single one of those will have that much hardware in it as a yeah. 19 inch and they'll all be t twice as big as that yeah and and the build quality is going to be way different too like the right the, those consumer lower. those tvs when you those consumer tvs you open them up the board is just slid in on some plastic rails flapping around, you know, on its own weight. The PCB material is like the cheapest possible thing they could have used, which is why they always have cracks and damage in them. It's just...